Okay, so I want to tell a historic tale that goes back millennia, and I want to expose the truth of our humanitarian timeline, which goes against the mainstream ideology and the way that our modern-day scholars and academics would have you believe the history of our humanity has come to be. So what I'm about to bring to light here is, um, and what I'm about to bring forth is into your consciousness is a revelation and uh, it's going to, to be seen in due time as the truth of all truths and it won't be able to be overturned and therefore shall not ever become known as anything but the ultimate historic record and the ultimate truth of humanity. And I want to begin by revealing the real history behind the pyramids in Egypt and that's where I'm going to start. So in ancient Egyptians, as many of us already are aware, um, had a large amount of mel melanin in their skin. This was to com combat the constant barrage of sun that they would endure from dusk till dawn. And they were most definitely not pale toned. It is also very obvious that they were the king of mathematics. In fact, they were the king of arithmetics and the masters of numerology. If you look at the, the pyramids, it's, it's a secret geometric circle that shows you clear as day. Pi. Thigh. Rye. Yes, that's how they got rye. Yup, the same stuff that bread is made out of. Have you ever looked at the Egyptian text scrolled on the Egyptian pyramids? They're making bread. Mixing bread. And baking bread. Rye. And pie. Yes, they're also baking pie. As well as the math pie. It's all a big circle. It's a big conspiracy circle. There's circles in the pyramids. And they're baking pie and rye. And if you if you have ever wondered how it started. It started with the black um, Mesopotamia and their pyramids. They built and they were mound builders. And they buried reptilians in the year 1812 of BCDC. And... They were skull stretchers, and they used to bind their skulls so that they looked like the Dracos, so that they looked like the Anunnaki, because both of those races were skull stretchers, because they used to stretch their domes so that people would know that they held the secret of the circle within their minds. The secret of the pyramids, if you will, or the secret of the rye, pie, baked goods, feasts they were eating with the shamans. Also, they invented the chopping off the tip of the manhood, um, they did this because they wanted to be able to s swim more streamlined down the Nile River when the floods would happen. It wasn't a Jewish thing at all. It was simply because they were having the original Olympic Games. That's right. They invented the Olympics as well. That's where that came from. Um, yeah, they, they invented the original Olympic Games. And, uh, and that was the original contest was simply a swimming race down the Nile. And they wanted to be the fastest so they would make their body as streamlined as possible. And so they would snip the tip off. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's all really crystal clear when you let yourself become open to understanding the truth. Uh, it makes all, all, all sorts of sense. It's, it's all out there. I mean, rye bread, pie circle, and berry pyramid pie. Uh, the Draco skull binders, the Olympic circumcision streamlined swimmers of the Nile. They had four months a year of flood water to time to kill. Of course, they were streamlined to swim the fastest. <laughs> so that's the first part of the human history in a nutshell that I wanted to share with you. And uh, so stay tuned uh, for the next installment in time to come. Thanks for your patience. Please subscribe. There's more to come.